I want us to retool and get back in the fight. I don't want us to be looking for a quarterback and get knocked all the way out to fight. And you can't go out and say, you're going to be a great quarterback. You're going to be a great quarterback because you're going to be a great quarterback. Let's take one of them. You have to develop that quarterback. You have to make sure that quarterback knows how to lead your team. I'm not ready to go back into the abyss of chasing down and trying to find quarterbacks. I know what that was like prior to us getting Tony Romo, getting Tony Romo. You remember all of those Quincy Carters and Drew, uh, all, hence, all those guys we brought in. Yep. We will not get back into that race. Mm -hmm. So you have a solid quarterback until you can give me something great. We have a quarterback that was in an MVP conversation this year. I'm not getting rid of that quarterback that was in the MVP conversation this year, along with that number 88 and the relationship they have and the union they have, the vibe and the connection they have on the football field. I got to get someone in here that can bring the best out of everybody on that offense and bring an offense that can help everybody. C.D. Lamb can get open no matter what when you give him one-on-one -on -one opportunities. But other people need help being open. Dak Prescott may need help seeing things. That's what I love about what Shanahan and, and the Sean McVay's and all of these guys do with their quarterback. They help them. They give them easy stuff added on that they can have plays where people are running wide open. I, I want that for Dak Prescott before I say, let me get rid of Dak Prescott and go back in that abyss of a hellhole looking for a quarterback, sir. Okay, but Michael, you want yeah, to go ahead I, and sign him for four more years, this right? This is the market. Okay. Yeah, this is the market. Got to. This is the market. This is this what is it the is. And every time you wait, it's only going north. It will never go south. It's not going. That number's not going south because they're not. The owners aren't going to let their money go north. Therefore, for by proxy, the quarterback money will only go north. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Right. So we, we're not going to go back down to 45, back down to 40, back down. No. Dak Prescott, you sign him. Somebody's going to jump him next year and then jump him, jump somebody else, or jump that person. But we need a quarterback or we're out the game totally. Mm -hmm. Yes, see, I'm signing Dak Prescott. See, when, 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 when your quarterback's playing well all season, Skip, and you're hooping and hollering, you, 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 you're sitting there talking about how he threw three, four touchdowns and Rock the ball down the field against yeah. the Philadelphia Eagles. You never think about these moments when it's going to come bite you in the butt because it's going to bite you in the butt because he led the league in touchdown passes. He was top five in a number of categories. He was a top five quarterback all regular season for all intents and purposes, and he played a great game. He played great. He did not play well in the playoffs. Gotcha. But you can do for everything you're saying, hey, he, he could do this better. He can do this better. Under, on the other side of that coin, understand, you can get a lot worse quarterback place. You can get a lot Whoa. worse. You can never be in this Ooh, position. Hot. You can be oh. under 500 as a team. You can have, you can do worse than the quarterback that led the league in touchdown passes, Skip. And so when you don't appreciate what you have, then sometimes you got to learn the hard way. And sometimes you're sitting there like, yeah, let's build our team up. Fire McCarthy. Do all this. Hey, let's get rid of all these guys. Well, you're going to have a chance to do that, Skip. Tyron Smith, he's not under contract right now. Biotis, he's not under contract right now. There's a number of guys. You don't have to bring back uh, uh, Jordan Lewis. Uh, there's a number of guys. You don't have to bring back, but watch how different your team is. You don't want to bring Dak Prescott back? Mm. Watch how different your team would be without him. And then you would be appreciating. You would be wishing. There's a number of teams wishing for Dak Prescott. Let the Atlanta Falcons hear about Dak Prescott being available. I guarantee you they'd be happy. He's done nothing for their franchise. They'd be happy to give him 55 plus million dollars to come quarterback their franchise. There are a number of teams just like them that would pay a lot of money. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, for example, they'd pay a lot of money to come see Dak Prescott do what he's done against them in the playoffs for them. And so, yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Skip, but you better pay him. Or are you going to be in a lot worse situation going forward? You want to, you want to pay, has, you want to Right. And, and Dak has all control now here. He, you can't, you can't tag him. You can't tag him. Or, or you know what I mean? So, so you, you, and you can't trade him. So you either do business with him or let him walk. And you can't let him right. walk. Okay. Let him walk. I told both of you guys 
and Keyshawn all year very long. I just don't trust him in the postseason. I never wavered. I was stuck with him, so I can't help but root for him because I'm diehard lifelong. I, I can't help it. I, it. It is what it is. And he did play much better this year with McCarthy calling plays than he played last year. But I kept telling all of you guys, I'm spoiled. I come from a very different place than Michael comes from when he talks about the Cowboys. I, I know what it was like to watch Don Merritt throw to bullet Bob Hayes. I know what Roger Staubach brought to this franchise because he was the greatest winner I've ever been around this side of Tom Brady. One of the great leaders in the history of the game. He transformed our franchise. He invented, created the Hail Mary, named it, nicknamed it the Hail Mary. He pulled out one game after another after another. He could be trusted the most in the biggest moments. And I know what Troy Aikman brought to this franchise because nobody knows better than the man sitting across from me right now. When it was time, Troy played. When it was time for 8 to 88, I could trust it. I could take it to my emotional bank because it always cashed and cashed and cashed. Even when they lost that 94 NFC Championship game at San Francisco, it was a spectacle to watch of 8 to 88. Would you fall behind 21 to 3? Yeah. And here you came, and you almost pulled it out, and Dion got away with a little arm bar pass interference, and Barry Switzer got a little over-emotional, ran onto the field and got a 15-yard penalty, and that was that. But you were positioned to come all the way back because of 8 to 88. Troy Aikman, I'm spoiled. We can do better than Dak. You say we could do a whole lot worse. I got gotcha. you. But we can do better than Dak Prescott because he's now fallen to two and five in the postseason right on schedule yesterday. When I, I actually least expected it, he turned back into quote unquote playoff Dak. It's hard to watch because in the first half, he goes 13 and 21 for 87 yards and two interceptions, one a pick six. The other one could have been a pick six. And he and CD fell completely apart. I don't know why we're going to go head on with it in just a few minutes here. We'll go deeper into it, whatever we know about it. But in the first half, CD Lamb was thrown seven footballs. He caught two for 18. It's just wrong. Something went completely off the rails between those two Early. in the first half after over the last 12 games, they had been the dominant duo in all of pro football. Right. I, I don't know. I, I know that, that Dak... Two years ago, going back to the home playoff loss to Jimmy G in the 49ers, he just, I don't know, he wasn't ready to play. He came on a little bit late and actually looked like he could have a throw into the end zone. We were down 25 to 20 to maybe pull out a Hail Mary of a miracle, and we couldn't get the ball spotted because he ran a little too far on what was sort of a quarterback draw up the middle. And then last year at San Francisco, the defense came to play. It was 19 to 12. We held... Brock Purdy in that offense to 19 points at their place. And Dak threw two second quarter interceptions and we couldn't dig back out of the hole. I, I don't know. I, to me, Richard, yeah, you, you said, don't. what's the definition of insanity? What did you tell me to open the show? What, what is it? You, you keep going back to the same, same well over and over. over and over and over again. And I, I, I've seen it and I've seen it and I've seen it. And I, I get you, but... But listen, would I like to see Trey Lance get a shot? Once upon a time, the two Shanahan's, yep. the two greatest minds in coaching today, said, we love Trey Lance and we're going to trade the sun and the moon to go get him. And he got hurt. And they, they got, got rid of him. Okay, and they the did. But he never got, got off to the right. right start. And he was in the wrong place at the Skip, wrong time. Skip, I Skip. got it. I, I, yeah. as, as, as a guy, as a guy who, who would love to see this just to sit on this show and, and laugh in your face, Put Trey Lance in and develop him and, and do that and put your franchise on Trey Lance. Right. I would pay a lot of money to see that. And then when it goes bad and, and Dak Prescott's having the same success somewhere else, Skip, I will sit here and say I told you so because you can't name me six, seven quarterbacks who've had right. more playoff success. Their playoff success isn't for everybody, Skip. There, there's not a ton of quarterbacks two, in the league that have five? playoff success. There's Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of quarterbacks that are two and five. I mean, what is Lamar Jackson? Is he right. is he one and three, one and yeah. four? Like, right. And he's a great right. quarterback in the and, National Football League. There's right. a lot of quarterbacks that go to this playoffs 
and don't have success. Right, but what you've done for Lamar now to give him an, a different opportunity, you went and said, you let's get you some new people. New offensive coordinator. Right. Let's get you a new system because this is unlike basketball. When we see a guy go in and have playoff issues, you know, we've talked about the James Harden, the guys like that who have playoff issues. You can't go in and protect those guys in the NBA. You have to shoot and make that shot. Ain't nothing we can do to hide that. Nothing we can do to try to work around that. But I can get the right head. I can get the right offensive guy to help Dak Prescott right. in playoff games. Okay. I can get the guy that can make run. You can have plays called like what we saw Houston get called and have some guys running wide open. Or what we saw Jordan Love have running wide open. We can get guys that can put with Dak Prescott that can help him have some of those opportunities and better his playoff opportunity, just like we're going to see with Lamar Jackson. All right. So allow me to cap this off by saying, to Cowboy Nation, please don't get caught up in Dak's second half yesterday because he is the classic empty calorie garbage time quarterback because he went 28 of 39 in the second half for 316 yards, two touchdowns and no picks. And obviously at one point we were down 48 to 16. CD caught seven balls for 92 yards in the second half alone but it's all for naught because we were already so far behind. And they were playing zone, and they they gave you all the underneath stuff, and you start connecting on the underneath stuff. And what happened at Philadelphia in the fourth quarter, I kept telling you, Dak threw for 173 yards on a bad defense that has bitten them in the butt all year long, but you got to stay in bounds. you got to make this play or that play, and he's not that guy. Matt LaFleur said after the game that Jordan Love is that dude. I've never thought of Dak as that dude, but but he's pretty good. And if we want to stay pretty good, we, we need to sign him long term. Okay. There's, there's very few in the league better than him. And and you're not going to find – you're not getting Patrick Mahomes. You're not yeah. getting Burrow. You're not getting Josh Allen. You're not getting Lamar. Yeah. So, so outside of those guys, those yeah. are the proven. Right? Yeah. And, 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 so and now Richard, you got if, Stroud. If a boy that Jordan Love. Love and C.J. Stroud, they're coming uh, along uh, very, very uh, fast. Okay. Very fast. Jordan Love, the way he looked, and, and we'll talk about We're it. Gonna I, talk about there, it. there are things that, that, that can't do. There are All things right. I saw Jordan Love do. That so, Dak Richard, if, if we sign Dak, give him the most money in the league for the next four years, then – we're stuck with you laughing at That's us right when decision. it really matters. You'll be now, laughing and laughing now, and now, laughing. Thank now, you. Now, if you don't do it, if you don't do it, you'll be stuck with me laughing at you, but you never get to the games that really matter. You, you just not make the playoffs at all, and I'd be laughing. So, Skip, it's, you pick your poison. There's somebody right. out there better. Okay, we got to talk Lions, finally. By the way, thanks to a missed call, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.